And we're live. What's up, Reds? Welcome to the Sunday Summary Talk Show on Nothing But Reds. I'm your host, Kyle. With me is Steve. We're going an hour early today because we got to watch England versus Croatia, man. It's uh, Honestly, when I was looking at the lineups, or not the lineups, but the matchups, it looked like it was going to be the best matchup. I'm excited to watch that show. So we should be finishing up 10 minutes beforehand to give you all enough time. But Steve, we got we got routines now. We got things to get into. We got beverage, education. Mm-hmm. And we got comment of the week. So I'll let you start with some beverage education. Last week we had coffee. I think we had the difference between cold brew, normal, and then what was the other one? Iced coffee, cold got brew. It. And yeah, that was that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. And now tell the people what we have today, Steve. Well, first and foremost, um, if you have any outstanding lingering questions, comments, concerns about last week's lesson, please feel free to put them in the chat or you can DM me on Instagram and I can elaborate, <clears throat> set up one-on-one private lessons, etc. This week is a much more straightforward, no-brainer. There isn't much to learn here, people. I'm not sure exactly which of you are from the US, which of you are from overseas, South America. It doesn't really matter. You got to get to a Dairy Queen as soon as possible. So it's, good. A, it's a staple here in the United States. And I'm not even a big fan of ice cream or desserts or treats, but their seasonal flavor of cotton candy will literally people change your life. Trust me when I tell you this, it's the most delicious summer treat to cool you off on a hot day. This is not a paid advertisement at all. <laughs> Dairy Queen probably wants nothing to do with me. Um, Cotton Candy Blizzard from Dairy Queen. Check it out. This is the second installment of the Beverage of the Week week segment. And again, feel free to reach out on the side for for any outstanding questions. Now, to be fair, is it? Can you even classify it as a beverage? Um, well, I suppose if you let it melt for a little while, you could drink it. I mean, I suppose you could, but it just it doesn't do it justice if you no, let it melt. I guess. Well, you know, it's kind of like a beverage. Yeah. So we'll just, you know, let's not get nitpicky here. Kyle. Look, I'm just Second saying. Segment. I'm just saying. Dude, that, that was hilarious. You remember you came down and we went, we were at the drive thru and you were asking, who was the guy's name you were asking about? Ricky. Ricky. Is Ricky, Ricky working? <laughs> Ricky. Um, so, and shout out to the guy who left a comment on the channel on the YouTube video from last week that was laughing and getting all grumpy that we were talking about coffee instead of football. Oh, yeah. He was like, how about we talk about football guys and not coffee? And yeah. I was like, has this guy ever heard of a, a primer or a icebreaker? Like, you don't just jump in like, good morning, guys. All right, Telemans, let's do it. Yeah, exactly. So I hope you guys um, get to a Dairy Queen. Now let's move on. All Comment right, of the week. No, <laughs> Comment of the week. This is a good one, Steve. This is a really good one. All right. I always get Steve out of it. All right. So now I have listened to you too. It is clear you know nothing about the game. I forgive your uneducated comments. Leads, leads, leads. Flame emoji. So I got a few thoughts right off the bat when I read this, okay? First off, it's a nice bad comment, okay? Because he says, I forgive your uneducated comments, okay? Second thing is, is this the chant like leads, leads, leads? Is that what the fans do? It's gotta, it's gotta be. I know the Leeds fans are running rampant downturn. It's unbelievable. Um, so that must be their thing. Leads, 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 because that's always the comment. Um, and the last thing I noticed, like, Steve, I'm pretty sure I know a lot about the game. Yeah. Um, it's funny because I didn't really say much about anything other than Rafinha is not going to cost 80 million. <laughs> he's not going to stay with you guys forever. If he's as good as people say he is, he's going to go to a big club. Um, what else? What else did I say? Dude, I don't know. I, I watched We were literally guy. talking about our opinion on value of Leeds players. There was know, no tactical crazy. discussion. Nothing like that. Like they, they shouldn't be worried about me or you or Rafinha. They should be worried about if Bielsa is going to stay. That guy doesn't commit to anything. Leeds fans. All I'm getting from this, except for Tim Smith last week. Seriously. It's like, 
It's nuts. They're they're so and sorry, I I do have to go pick up my coffee. My brain's not working right. I'm like talking and I'm like I don't know my next thought. These Leeds fans, they're just insane. They're coming to the channel and they're just like they're I don't know, man. It seems like we we hit a nerve with these guys. It seems they're like, like they're, ants, bro. They're a little sensitive. Like you drop a cookie on the patio, you come back out two hours later, especially like as the sun's going down, there's like a million ants. Oh my God. That's what we did. And that's Leeds fans. Like you mentioned Rafinha and like the world explodes and Leeds fans just like swarm. They're like, how to dare tell you, you he's say. worth 75 million pounds. He's worth 75. He <laughs> wants to retire with Leeds. He, <laughs> like it's unbelievable. Guys, guys, guys. All right, look, guys, first off, I just before we jump into the transfer news, all right, today we're chatting about Tielemans. He continues to be linked, but the main one is Florian Neuhaus, okay? We've been uh, – David Lynch has confirmed that we are inquiring about him. We'll be monitoring, I'm monitoring him at the Euro. Seriously, I can't even get my words out, Steve. I'm going to go get run. a coffee. Let me – I know. Get these people I'm gonna, busy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But first off, I want everyone uh, – Prayers up to Erickson and shout out to Erickson because he's doing well. Uh, shout out to the other guy too, uh, Jer, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but apparently this is the guy who was like comforting his wife, who was like making sure that he was doing CPR until the AED arrived. Like, you know, we're all thinking of Erickson. I didn't, what sucks, dude, is like I was going to watch that game. I didn't watch it live, but as soon as I, like I saw it on Twitter before anything and it was just insane, man. Like, these athletes, top athletes in the world, best shape ever. And like this happens, I feel like a decent amount. Like players collapse, dude. Like, and I don't know if it's an underlying undiagnosed condition or if it just like I don't know, something else happened. It's That's crazy. gotta be it. I'm just I'm just happy. I'm happy that he's he's uh stable now. So that's good. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. It's it's tough to see. And unfortunately, it's like it casts a shadow over the next couple days of the tournament and yeah it's you don't know if he's ever going to play again yeah i mean i, I yeah yeah it kind of scares me that he i mean he's have. not a keeper like he's an outfield player like he's has to run all day did he have a heart attack that's the thing i i mean <clears> like <throat> they were performing cpr so he had a heart rhythm at least he had something going on but i don't know if it was a cardiac arrest i, I don't know I really don't know what it was, man. I really don't know what it was. Let me run and get coffee, dude. You keep the people entertained, all right? Will do. All right. I'll be back. All right. So while Kyle's getting his coffee, let us know if you've ever been to Dairy Queen. Let's backtrack a, a second here. <clears throat> Time to till, chill down for Leeds fans. Pez says, um, it's, it's comedy to me, man. I love this stuff. I love it. New house. I'm not buying that stuff. Let us know what you guys think about New House and Telemans. I think those are the two strongest links I've been hearing lately. Um, of course, with with DACA as well. DACA on the docket. <clears throat> All right. So Bailey Coates and Roshayan saying that it was cardiac arrest. I think it's going to take a little bit more time for us to get some sort of a, a official report. Um. But again, he's alive. He seems to be on the mend, which is great. We saw him with his eyes open and, and somewhat alert, which is which is great. So um, definitely don't want to talk too, too much about that just because it is it is sad. But yeah, let us know what you guys think about who we're getting. What are you guys hearing the most about? I think uh, I'm sort of of the camp that I'm hearing a little bit about everything and every one. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure who I want, to be honest. I would like to see DACA come in. I think that's a position we need to fill. And then I'm also hearing the links of uh, uh, Raheem Sterling as well. So I don't know how I feel about Get that. Get out of here with that Raheem we, Sterling. We will crap. open up this can of transfer worms right now because our friend has returned. Dude. So <clears throat> Asha Shin wants to see Awar come in. Awar, Hossam Awar. He's Listen, been I've been seeing those links for two years. Literally two years. Those are the links that never happen. Those are the deals that never happen. Dude, what's crazy is he's still super young. I think he's like 22. Well, yeah, I'm just thinking like Jota links popped up like an hour before we bought him. 
Dude, and there were no there were no links to Fabinho. The only transfers that I feel like we had links with for a long time were like Fakir, which didn't even go through. Mm -hmm. Tiago. Yeah, which wasn't even that long. Like it was it wasn't like years and years. No, no. Klopp did say that he was the best player in the Bundesliga. Klopp said Nabi Keita and Tiago Alcantara were the best two players in the Bundesliga last year. That yeah. was the year he came over. That's why he bought Keita. Hey, well, <laughs> that's worked out great. Uh, yep. I think, okay, so the links with all the strikers, I think, are very credible. You know, you look at Pats and Daka, you look at Jer not, Jeremy Doku, even though these these they're just forwards, they're attackers. Um, but Florian Neuhaus, we've, this is another player we've been linked with for like a year. Like he has been consistently linked. Okay. And, um, not for nothing, but it just seems like we're linked with, uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach players a lot. Like even with Granite Xhaka, before he went to Arsenal, we were linked with him too. Like I don't remember that. Granite Xhaka. And it's like, you look at the kind of player he is. I'm like, there's no way I'd want him. No, he's a hell of a passer. And he's a yeah. fiery guy. Yeah. That's all I'll give him. Um, I don't even want to talk about him. But yeah, I don't even remember those links, number one. And the Neuhaus links, have I been living under a rock? Because so I haven't heard much about that guy either. So, oh, I mean, I haven't heard much <clears throat> about him. But David Lynch says that we're actually, like, inquiring about it. Now, whether or not, uh, you know, Munch and Gladbach have, like, accepted the offer or rejected the offer, there hasn't been any further contact. But we've, like, inquired about him, right? And according to him, we're going to monitor, monitor his you know, performance at the Euros, and then we'll see after. Because there's no, not going to be any transfers really going on during the Euros. Yeah. Um, this kind of reminds me of like the Shakiri scenario, which was during the World Cup. Yeah, that was and He's like, I got one. the new club, and I'll announce it. And we're like hearing rumors. like, And then yeah. we're like, oh, we got Jordan Shakiri for $12 million. Yeah, like he's barely played. I would say he's probably played in what a third of the games since we've gotten him. Oh, if that. And you know something like I will remember that guy forever. He was a big time name that played for a small time club before he came here. Best player for his national team, Champions League winner in Bayern. I don't know why I'm rambling about Jared and Shakiri right now. You, you, you like him. You like him. I Maybe love that people. guy because. Yeah. People need to people people seem to forget like it's very rare that he comes on and you're like wow that was a joke but I feel like that happens with Ox most of the time the I feel like that happens with Origi except for his last game <clears throat> right but Shakiri comes on and you're like wow like that helped like yeah. that that wasn't as bad as it was before well he's a difference maker he's a difference maker he's a He's a sixth man, if you will. Like he's a guy that comes on and he and he makes a difference. Uh, I think the... we're going to see him stay. Yeah, yeah. What, I do want to say something about Shakiri. You could probably go find it on the channel. It was back when I was doing podcasts, where the thumbnails were just the podcast thing. Uh, we were. I was talking about the Shakiri links, and I was like, "He's not coming. He's not a Klopp player." And <clears throat> next thing you know, he's well, I don't here. know if he is. I, yeah. I still don't know if he is, but I don't think he is. But like, I don't think you need to be a clop player to be a sub. <laughs> Wait, Do you know what I mean? I'm laughing at Tony's comment. Oh yeah, yeah. And, no, certainly. and it's crazy because I wish I had. Um, I do love the thigh master. Liz. What a legend he is. Um, difference maker. United. He played in that Barcelona game. He's played in some big games. What a legend. That Bar dude. <clears throat> This is the thing, like, I think people, people look, I'm just going to say this, and then, and then I want to chat about Florian Neuhaus, look at what kind of player he is, okay? <laughs> when you look at the Barcelona game, not only do you realize that we came back from 3-0 down, look at who we did it with, Steve. Mm -hmm. We had Salah and Firmino out. We started Divac, Shaq, and Mane, mm -hmm. okay? Divac gets the first goal. All right, Genie Wijnaldum gets two, and then was it love? Who got the last one? Ariki. Oh and my God! Wijnaldum got two, and Ariki got two. I'm an absolute idiot. For guys, forgive me. Like I said, I'm only you'll never see that again. Coffee. By the way, no, 
Like no, those two guys, no, no. <laughs> two goals in one game. Listen to me. Listen to me. <gasps> That's the thing is like that situation is what created that moment. It wasn't the, I would say like the players did well, but that situation that happens once every decade, dude, once every 20 years, that doesn't happen. Like that was just insane. And for Shakiri to be a part of it, like a significant part of it, like Shakiri did well. All right, look, Florian Neuhaus, right? That was midfielder. That was a that was a miracle that game. No, it was. Like, we were better we, than them. I knew we were a better team. I think yeah. everyone did. I think even Barcelona knew that. But they're they're um let me this is the last thing I'll say. Their like talent, their hype, their experience showed in that first game. Yeah. And I don't think they outplayed us that bad. Um, no, no. They just have world class players, like world class players. Everyone knows this. Like, <clears throat> we lost 3 0, but when you go back and watch that game, we played better than Barcelona in the first game. Yeah, they're just we, more clinical. Sala had a shot off the post. Ter Stegen had world class saves. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally. Oh, the Messi free kick. The me no, no, no. This is what I'm saying. Messi's free kick. Like, you don't save that free kick at all. Like, that was that was amazing free kick. <laughs> That's a great. I love it. I love it. And then Allison, Allison, uh, there's a ball off the uh, crossbar, and then Suarez taps it in. Like, yep. We played better than them, and we lost three nil. It was just one of those games. It's the beauty of the game. It's the beauty of the game, dude. Seriously, it's the same thing with um, like Atletico Madrid last year. We're a much better team than they are. Yeah, I think honestly we played very poor though. We did, but. It's you can literally chalk the loss up to Adrian not saving decent shots. Yeah. <laughs> like two of the same shot low yeah. on the ground. And then another thing we cannot get into is Adrian and what's happening this year with apparently, you know, Quevin going out on loan. I don't like Quivian that. Kelleher. No, no, that's that can't happen. We need to figure out a way to stop that. You and I. I I mean, we can. I mean, if you if you want, we can send a strongly worded letter or an email. Who to Jurgen Norbert? Jurgen Norbert. <laughs> so Roberto. Oh, by the way, for those of you that don't know, my puppy's middle name is Roberto. His name is Zion Roberto. Last name Norbury. I love it. Yep, absolutely love it. Zion. What a guy. Zion, Zion. Where is so he? So first off, I just want to thank everyone who's in the chat. I appreciate you guys tuning in every week. Make <clears> sure <throat> you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I know Tracy was uh, had a comment here uh, saying, if we get another two midfielders and a winger and a striker, would this be the perfect summer? Yeah, I'd say so, honestly. Because we already got Kanate. I don't even think we need two midfielders. If we get one midfielder, a winger and a striker, I would definitely say this is the perfect summer. That's for me. What's going on, Mike? Liz, Tony in the chat, Nelson. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a good one. Uh, Ryan bringing up the fact that we got a preseason game against Rangers. That'll be good. That'll be good for everyone. Seek Chan in the chat. What's going on, everyone? All right, look. Florian Neuhaus, let's take a look at him, okay? Central midfielder. To, oh, he's 24. Holy crap, when did he get 24 years old? I thought he was 20. Oh, no, I was talking about Hussein yeah. Awar. Okay, never mind. Hussein Awar is 22 years old. <clears throat> okay, 24 years old. Okay, plays for Borussia Mönchengladbach. His contract runs until 2024. So if we were to get this guy, Steve, we're, we're, probably, we're probably paying the most we could possibly pay for this guy. With three years left on his deal. I missed that price. What was it? I didn't say a price, Steve. <clears throat> okay. Why don't you pay attention? I'm reading through the comments, man. We got a shout out from Connor Crosby here. Congrats on 5K, guys. Onwards and upwards. Okay, now appreciate I feel bad the support. for support. I feel like appreciate the support. You, thanks, Connor. <laughs> we love you guys. Um, Connor, thanks, man. Um, and oh, yeah, also, we got Steve. Hold on. I completely forgot to mention we we hit 5K. <laughs> yeah, um, I knew that was coming. Oh my gosh, yeah, Dude. I meant to unbelievable yeah we've seen some really good success lately so thanks to everyone supporting and then also follow us on instagram if you haven't yet the instagram's back up and running we're, we're humming and buzzing over there um but yeah go check us out on instagram kyle is going to put that in the description yeah oh uh, no i don't uh, think he has 
So the weird thing with the live streams, I have all of the links to our social media, to the merchandise, to everything, uh, and all the videos we upload, not the live streams. They're, they're already there. It's the default. The live streams don't include them like ever. And I don't know why that is. So Until after? No, it, ever. Like I'm pretty sure. It's weird. I don't know why. That is but weird. I'll, I will make sure to uh, – what I can do – I don't know if you can you can't pin. <laughs> Someone just uh yeah. Steve can't, can't pin. pin. We'll figure it out. I what I'll do I'll put a link in on my on Twitter. I'll share it in the community community section after this. What I'll do is I'll put it in the community section. You can go over and check out the Instagram. So Florian Neuhaus. Uh like I said, contract runs until 2024. And actually let me share my screen with all y'all so uh, everyone can see what I'm uh what I'm sharing here. And his value is worth thirty-eight point five million U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. Um, it's a significant amount. Um, mm -hmm. The thing is, is he's at like his peak value, I'd say, unless he like becomes a world-class player in the next couple of years. Um, I, I actually, I take that back. I don't know if this is his peak value time or not. But given that he's twenty-four, uh, you know. Could we be getting him if we end up getting him? Could we be getting him on the brink of <clears throat> what he can become? Right? Do, does 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 that make sense? So, for example, we look at Nabi Keita. We got him at the same age, like twenty three, twenty four, but he's wasted away the last three seasons. Like, and I'm trying to think of another player. Uh, Oxley Chamberlain, same kind of deal. Got him twenty three, twenty four. We've seen him become what he can become. You know, same thing. Fabinho, another good example. Like, do you want to bring this guy in at 24, or would you rather go for a younger player? Like, really young. I mean, you know how I feel about the window. So if this guy is ready, and I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen too, too much of him. Mm -hmm. um, but if he's going to be – if 24 is not old. No, 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 not, not what I was 25, 26 isn't even old. When you start getting into the second, you know. Yeah. 20, 27, 28, 29. That's when you got to start thinking about, okay, could this be this person's last contract with this club? Right. <clears throat> but I'm not, I don't care about a 20 year old midfielder. I don't, it, the age doesn't matter to me because we have a window. We have a window with Jurgen Klopp. We have a window with Van Dyke. We have a window with Salah and, and Mane and Allison and all these guys that are in their prime or, you know, heading the other way. Mm hmm. And we need to we need to win now, like <laughs> that's the thing, Ross. Honestly, when I read this, this is what it's come to, Steve. Ross, thank you, my friend. And that is a sick picture, by the way. What what is this picture? I don't know what that is. It's like a it's like, it's like a, a white wolf. wolf. A, it's a polar wolf. A polar wolf. I love also, it. Also, I just put the Instagram link in the chat. However, don't click out of the chat. Just copy and paste it. Put it in your browser later. Stay here with us, people. Hey, that's a good that's a good one. No, but seriously, Ross, like this is what it's come to as a Liverpool fan. You you don't look at value, you don't look at goals, you don't look at any of that crap. You're like, when was this guy last injured? Literally all that matters. I, I absolutely love it. And they they obviously they do have his injury list here, which we'll get to in a second. Um, let's look at some of his statistics in the Bundesliga this past year. So 33 appearances, six goals, six assists. I think that's very solid for a midfielder. Um Starting 11, 88% of the time. Uh, and he can also play out on that left side midfield. So this is perfect for a Klopp system because Klopp likes the 4-3-3 three, three, where those outside midfielder guys kind of have the freedom to go out wide and drift back, drift forward, you know, whatever. So it's looks pretty like good. The Curtis. He looks like Curtis to me. Who, Florian? I mean, the positions he's playing. Oh, I was like, this guy looks nothing like Curtis Jones. No, I'm not talking about his, uh, how he actually looks. Oh, and here we go. This is the new news. Okay, Neuhaus wants to stay despite <clears throat> claws. All right. So we will have to get into that there. But this is I was I was uh referring to the David Lynch, uh David Lynch links. Um now let's go down a little bit more. All right. So came over from Dusseldorf. Uh it looks like for a three point oh, that was a loan. Okay, so he was loaned out to Dusseldorf. Um, and it looks like Looks like he's been in Germany the whole time. That looks like a German team, doesn't it? Yeah, they're all German. Um, yeah, so 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've never TSV eighteen sixty. I've actually never heard of that club. Is he playing in the Euros? Uh, let's see. Is he on the score? Germany's pretty stacked. Um, six caps, two goals. He only has six caps for the international team. It's actually a great question, guys. If you know if he's playing on the in the Euro squad, well, it says here next matches, so maybe he's in the squad. Yeah, that that doesn't necessarily mean he's in the squad. If he's linked to that club, that's just going to pull automatically. I'll check right now. That's true. That's going to be an excellent matchup. Holy crap! France, Germany. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy because um, obviously Liverpool is like my number one priority and probably for most of you guys too. But once we figured out that they weren't going to win the league and like they were, they were out of the champions league. Like these are the games you start thinking about like, Oh my gosh, like the euros are coming this summer. Like you're really? still really heavily invested in Liverpool to the very end to make sure they make top four, but there are some unbelievable matchups in this tournament already. So. And the first one being today, like I, well, can't yeah, wait. they're monitoring him at the euros. Of course he's playing. That was this is so stupid. Shame on us. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Why couldn't I find that? The injury history. Oh yeah, Ross, what a legend. All right. So oh Steve, I actually love this. I love this. He hasn't gotten injured since he's been at um <clears throat> excuse me, uh Munchen Gladbach. Let me read me this. January twentieth, two thousand fourteen. Knock. Mm -hmm. Out yeah, no, one hundred and five days for a knock. Yeah, this is this is one of those things, Steve. Like tonsillitis. Wait, what? Where is where's the, <laughs> the first one? <laughs> oh man. They, well, he probably had his tonsils out. Okay. Well, this is what's so crazy. Like when you actually go and look at the injury history of players and you see stuff like that, for example, tonsillitis. Nothing funny about tonsillitis, okay? I had my tonsils out when I was 19. It's more painful the older you get. That sucked. That surgery sucked. But like not to get off track, but then we look at Nabi Keita. Wasn't Nabi out for malaria? Like, just like different things that are insane, right? Like, you see guys out for like broken. I saw one guy out for a broken fingernail once. I can't remember. It was out for two days, broken fingernail or something. It was insane. Can't that remember when a riot where I saw that, but yeah, so that's great. 17, 18, adductor problems. That was the last time. Look at this. This is specific. I haven't seen a specific one. Overstretching of of the syndesmotic ligament. Um, and uh, to be completely honest with you, I am an expert in anatomy and physiology, and I could not tell you where the syndesmotic ligament is. I've never heard of that ligament before. So uh, maybe I should study, or this is a different ligament that I don't have. But yeah, so he's not injured. That's good. That's good. Let's take a look at this guy's stats. OK. And going over to the chat, take a look at some people here. Yeah. Pez is talking about France versus Germany is going to be lit. Absolutely. And oh boy, nothing bringing up the fact. And this is the article we saw. He wants to stay in Germany. Byron wants to buy him as well. So we we might not get him if he wants to stay in Germany. That's the thing with these German players, guys. Like you look at players that were that are always linked to the move away. Right. Uh, even though Upe Meccano is French, I'm going to bring him up. Upe Meccano, right? Leon Goretzka, Florian Neuhaus, right? You have all these players that are linked with big moves away. Like we were linked with Leon Goretzka. They go to Bayern. Like Bayern is the pinnacle German club, right? It's kind of like uh, Madrid is for, you know, uh, Brazilian players, Spanish players, you know, things like that. Like they they have, it's different. I And I'll never understand the cultural differences, but it's like they want to go there. And I understand being a fan of Liverpool. You're like, why wouldn't you want to go to Liverpool? It's a great club. Like these guys have their, you know, their goals, their sights set on, you know, going to Bayern. So if he wants to go to Bayern, he wants to go to Bayern. But, uh, but yeah, so let's, uh, I want to take a look at that article actually and see if there's any, uh, if they still have that article there, which I don't think they do. But anyway, Steve, what are your thoughts? I don't feed into this crap. <laughs> what? This transfer garbage. Even I like not break. know. I like, dude, you could you could literally waste your lifetime reading into these transfers. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with this guy. He's probably gonna go to Bayern. No, I I honestly the only think thing is like we we have a foot in the race because clearly we're interested and Klopp's German. So, well, yeah, 
I mean, there you I go. I think another thing a lot of players look at is who's on the squad. Like, who would I be joining? Do I know anyone over there? Like, we got all the Brazilians, right? Very good. Very good point. Very we good got point. English guys. Aside from that, there well, isn't much camaraderie nationality wise. Well, we're pretty diverse. I'll say that. Um, well, yeah, but and th- one thing there's I've no noticed, Germans that I that I can think of. No, no, no. I and I understand what you're saying. We're we're pretty diverse though in, in terms of like. I always feel like we end up bringing in players of different nationalities. Like the new transfers are different nationalities that we don't have in the team. For example, okay, brought in Salah. He's Egyptian. There aren't many like big Egyptian players around the world. I think there's Aston Villa has an Egyptian player. Um, I think El Neni is Egyptian, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, they got they got um, a few. Yeah, so uh, I mean, there's El Neni he might be, but there's Al Ghazi. There's there's that's there's what I'm talking about. Al Ghazi, yeah. So there's a few Egyptian players, right? But then you look at Ozan Kabak, Turkish, right? We don't have a Turkish player in the squad. Kanate, French. Do we have another French player in the squad? I really don't think we do. No. No, he's the only French player. Jota, right? Portuguese. Yeah, Jota, Portuguese, right? And then uh, we like the Brazilian. We got solid Brazilians, English, like you mentioned. And then I'm trying to think of some other players. Uh, Tiago, Spanish. We don't have another Spanish player in the squad. Aside, Alberto Moreno was the last one, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. And it's like, and then Nico Williams is Welsh. I'm pretty sure. Um, it, like we're really diverse. It's like Brazilian is in English are like the only two that were really like, we got a lot of players there. So bringing in a German player, you know, it just adds to that diversity, but this is the original report I was talking about. Uh, let me share my screen with everyone here so everyone can see it. Um, all right. David Lynch reported that, uh, per reports in Germany, we made contact with the representatives of Munchen Gladbach's Florian Neuhaus. No guarantee interest will be followed up, but any move would likely come after the Euros. Okay. So this is the report, and this is what I was talking about. Very rarely do you see a link with a r- relatively credible journalist reporting on it, right? That's why when, um, what's his face? I'm, I'm blanking on his name. Uh, Fabrizio Romano comes out with a report. You listen to it, right? When James Pierce says something, you listen to it. David Lynch, you listen to it. But when all these other outlets come out, like media outlets from Zambia or somewhere not even related to the transfer comes out, you're like, all right. I mean, that doesn't really mean anything. So that's why I'm following this one. So, and again, he says no guaranteed interest will be followed up. So I guess we're clearly just monitoring this guy. Next. Telemans. <laughs> oh man, Steve. You Actually, see you... us spending money on Telemans? No, I don't. He's the money at... you guys claim he's worth? He's gonna stay at uh Leicester, I feel like. They're gonna want you're right, they're gonna want a ton of money for him. Yeah. It's not worth it. They're not they're very stubborn and they get <clears throat> They get what they ask for with players. Ever since they won the league, they get what they ask for for players. Um, and good for them for doing that. Um, yeah, but they, just, they ask too much. They yeah, ask too much. Not, That's why James Trump Madison's Wyatt. still there. Well, James, James Madison is new. Like They got what they got him from Norwich, Norwich, right? But dude, James Madison was getting linked with Manchester United two years ago. That two years mean, ago. It doesn't mean anything, though. No, but there's a reason that these guys are still with Leicester. Like, who's actually left? Mares, Conte, um, and Maguire. And Chilwell. Mm. Right, right. Yep. Um, but, I mean, those all those players have filtered out. Like, um, uh, the uh, Japanese guy, I think. Uh, yep. He, he filtered out. Um, was it Christian Fuchs that just signed for like Charlotte FC? I don't know. I can't remember. But um, drink water wasn't he with them for a little while? Andy Drinkwater went to Chelsea. Yeah, I mean that was a big one. I think he's still at Chelsea, but he's just loaned out somewhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that that know. didn't work out at all. But it's just one of those things, dude. It's like, it's, all right. So the the report by the Mirror is basically saying that Yuri Tielemans has emerged as a Liverpool transfer target. 
All right. And I want to read this because I actually haven't read the article yet. And I want to read it live to see if it, there's BS in it. Okay. All right. Jurgen Klopp's Reds may have to go back to winning ways first if they want to snap up the Belgian. Okay. Tielemans joined Leicester on an initial loan deal in 2019 for Monaco, right? Yeah, and he, he joined the club permanently. I remember that. In fact, the midfielder was so impressive during his loan spell. He, man, United were also interested. Um, but Tielemans snubbed the Devils for the Foxes despite his agent suggesting they at least wait for a bid. Okay. Uh, yada, 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 yada. There's literally nothing. All right, hold on. Here we go. Going into quotes now. Why not remain at Leicester City, said Tielemans. This is a club where you have the best environment you can have. The people around you just want the best. It's brilliant to be here. We'll see what's coming in the future, but the environment is perfect to win trophies. You can't predict the future, but everyone around the club and inside the club was made for it. It's literally what every single player says, Steve. Mm -hmm. Every single player says the same exact thing, dude. Yeah, I mean, except for the ones that don't. That cause even a stink Sa to get out. Even Sala says that. They're like, no one knows what the future holds. Like, but Sala is loyal. So. Well, yeah. Um, Dustin, what? I do not have any updates on Christian Erickson. I'm the wrong guy to ask, but yeah, he's um, stayed we talked about it a little bit earlier in the show. It seems like he's he's heading in the right direction. So. Prayers out to him and his family and all of you. Prayers out to all of you as well. Welcome. Thanks for yeah, joining no, us. Yeah, welcome, no, welcome to everyone. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Thanks to everyone who tunes in and watches the show every week. Having a blast. After the show, make sure yeah. to go back and listen to our Dairy Queen lesson that I yes. put on in a new uh, weekly beverage segment. We had a comment of the week. And yeah, we've covered a decent amount. Uh, too much on Florian Newhouse, if you ask me, but yeah. That's okay. Justin McGee, what's up? Well, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to go into, uh, uh, you know, detail about Florian Noyal. Since it was the first one I've seen where it was like, oh, a reputable guy is reporting on it, as opposed to... Oh, you well, know, you're allowed to do whatever you want. I just think it dragged on for too long. Of course you do. Because did. this guy is... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Julian Brandt, Leon Goretzka. But I've heard of them all coming over here. We've link, we're all linked the German midfielders, every German player, Except Kimmich. I haven't heard of him. Yeah. Kimmich. We were linked with Leon Goretzka was the big one. I feel like what a player. Yeah. He's, he's solid. He's I like solid. that guy a lot. Yeah. Let's go over to the chat. Let's see what people are saying. Yeah. So Ross talking about Florian Neuhaus. He's going to be more expensive. Oh, he's, I, I don't know who he's talking about, but, um, but yeah, uh, George in the chat, what's going on? Uh, Dust, I already said, what's up, uh, Dustin McGee? What's going on? Uh, Ross, Salah may want to stay, but if the club wants to sell him, there's likely not much he can do. Well, yeah, of course. Um, but I don't think the club want to sell him. What I'm interested in, Steve, you saw what Jeannie Wijnaldum said, right? When asked about like the, the departure from Liverpool, he was like, uh, he was like, I'll say this, like the employees, the, my players and my friends wanted me to yeah. stay. Mm -hmm. And what does that leave FSG the owners? Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, I mean, we kind of, we can kind of uh, infer that that's what he meant. So clearly FSG didn't want to give him, e it's either one of two things. Okay. Either they didn't want to give him a new contract because they didn't think he produced for the club or the price that Jeannie Wijnaldum wanted to be paid or the wage that he wanted to be paid. FSG were like, you're not worth that. So mm -hmm. pretty much that's what it meant. Would we have loved, to keep Genie? Uh yeah. I feel like everyone would have wanted to keep Genie, dude. Mm -hmm. But he's gone. He's gone. He's at PSG. That's he interesting. He probably just to wanted to get paid with the other midfielders. He probably yeah, just no. wanted to get paid a, a, maybe more than Ox and Keda and up, up there with, you know, Millie and Hendo, mid one hundreds probably. Which he should be. That's probably all he wanted. Yeah. Good for him. You can't even waste time on that. It's just a whole nother ball game. Yeah. Yeah, and I, look, and people say it's all about the money with uh, with Genie. Look, at this point in his career, with what he's done at Liverpool, what he's accomplished, this is when I can say, you're absolutely right. He deserves to ask for a pay raise. It's mm -hmm. when players are like money grabbing. Like, for example, like oh, I'm trying to think of an example. Um, 
like players like not showing up to training because they want more money or you know I don't stuff like that. Like that's when it, it's when a little it bit more rare in football. Yeah, than it is here in the states. It really is. People hold and, out all the time for money. But the thing is, though, the players are given way more power here in the states compared to over there. Like <clears> over there, <throat> the manager is the head guy. Like the manager has the power. Like here, it's like you uh, the coach is just a figurehead. Your best player is like your best players manage. They're like especially in the NBA, like I feel like the NBA is where it's the most prevalent. Like you got players with more power than the coach. Yeah. And it's not like, um, this is like a trade. This is like a, this sport is like a trade. It's like a slave trade. It's crazy. You talking about football? Yeah. Why is that? Just going to buy this person and sell them when I want. That's like, it's not like that in the U S well, yeah, yeah, I, I, it's, it's just completely different. And when I started it's following so weird, it's like, I'm going to buy you from him and then we'll iron out contract details later. But now I own you. Well, that, that's the thing. You. isn't it? Di- it's so different. And it took me a while when I started following the sport, it took me a while to adjust because I'm used to players like their contract is running up, right? And they either get traded or they're a free agent and they sign. Like you can't, yeah. you can't buy a player. Like it, yeah. I've seen it, like I've seen it happen where the club you play for or the, the team you play for buys out your contract, right? For cap space. But because there's no cap and it took me a while to realize like, dude, these teams, they have a contract, but you can come in and just outright buy a player. That's what's crazy to me. So mm-hmm. it's, wow. it's, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, Boo Rider talking about the NCAA is legalized slavery. So they're changing that. Like that's obvious, that's changing a little bit. But to be fair, the players have been being getting paid for for forever. It's just under the table. Yeah, but only the good ones have been getting paid. The really, yeah. really good ones. That's yeah, that's the issue. It's top it's top heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It and really, it really is. The guys that are like, you know, four year players are really crucial to the team success. They're not getting it. Yeah, it's the guys that they were want to convince to come to Duke or whoever. Right, right. So those guys, and they can start getting paid in like eleventh grade, dude, before I, college. Dude, it's insane. And Dustin brings up this fact: clubs agree personal terms with players before buying them. That's another thing you can get fined in the states for like discussing contract things with players if they're still under contract with another team. So it's like it's there's so many different rules, dude. And yeah, and trust me, guys, we'll be ending here in about five minutes so everyone can get ready for the England Croatia match. Um, that way, you guys can, you know, watch the national anthems and everything, you know, watch them walk out. Um, figure out what channel that's on. I, mean, I think pretty, it's ESPN. Pretty sure it's on ESPN. It might even be ESPN. Plus, a lot of these are like gated. They're not like. You think? You know? Um, I think, but I'm going to find out right now. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I, so I've seen people asking about Pats and DACA here in the chat a few times. Um, so Matt, is it nearly, Oh, it's on ABC according to Oh boy, nothing. Okay. So that's good. Uh, so is doc is DACA nearly a done deal, dude? I've literally ABC. only seen that one link guys, that one article <laughs> cited by can I, I think it was the mirror. No, it wasn't mirror. It was, um, the Liverpool echo. They cited the Zambia report or Zambia newspaper. That's it. That's all it was. And so, I don't see anything else happening. Like there's usually a buildup, but it's very short. It's like a day before or something like that. So if we find out something, it's going to be quick. It's going to be real quick. Mm-hmm. Like cannot they, what was it in the news for like a week? And then it happened. Mm. Yeah. Um, ESPN here where I'm at, but ESPN okay. and ABC, I think they're the same now, aren't they? ESPN and ABC. I think they're somewhat, connected they've got to be because the matches were on both yesterday they must be owned, i think they're owned by disney does disney own abc i don't know probably um shout out to walt by the way who's walt walt disney oh walt <laughs> like, who's walt shout oh, out to walt God. disney yeah shout out to everyone in the chat bro 65 people in here we appreciate you guys joining us thanks for tuning in an hour early i know we uh we didn't really, you know, give you all a heads up, but we wanted to give everyone a chance to watch the England game because we got a lot of people watching from the UK. I'm sure you guys will be interested in watching that. I'm interested in watching that. So that'll be uh You're doing a watch along? 
No, no, not for that. I can't. I can only do a watch long for Liverpool because I know the players and everything like that. I don't know half of the players on Croatia. The only like I don't know. I just want to watch the game. All right, you get one prediction. Who are we getting in the transfer window? Because I have mine. You want me to go right. first? So we already got Kanate. Okay. Mm-hmm. If we buy anyone, we're buying a forward, dude. If we buy mm-hmm. anyone, we're buying a forward. I think. Oh man. Jeremy Doku. Okay. I'm going with DACA. I think we're getting DACA. Okay. I That's like what it. I want. Hey. What's his how big is he? Who? Pats and Daka? I don't think he's that tall. He's like a short uh, like a shorter forward, but Let's see. Yeah, I appreciate the love, guys. We got Boo Rider loving the channel, guys. Downturn with a great stream. Um, oh, yeah, and Tony really talking about – this is Tony talking about DACA. It's gone really quiet about DACA. The only thing I've heard is that Lester now after him. That's the thing. That's Dude, the transfer market is crazy. Mm-hmm. All right. So Adelia is saying, I think some wage discussion is happening between he's Salah one. and he's, he's solid. He's six oh, he's 6-1. Okay, well, good. And Salah is not leaving just because there's no club that can afford him. Well, that's true. That's true. And that another thing we got to think about, mm, Steve, is that what? There are a few clubs that can afford him. Who, Salah? Mm-hmm. But oh, he wouldn't no, go. Well, he wouldn't go to Chelsea. He wouldn't go to City. He wouldn't go to Chelsea. Man, you could him. afford him. And I mean, a lot of them could. The only two clubs I could see Salah going to are Madrid. PSG. PSG. I was going to say Juventus, but I don't think he'd go to Juventus. He's already been in Italy. I don't think he'd go back. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. What do you think is going to happen with Ronaldo? What is he, he's got one or two more years on his contract there. He signed a four-year deal. Um, he left after he beat us in 2017-18, so he should have one more year at Juventus. Then I don't know. Well, I, don't I don't think know. he's going to play it out there. I think he's going to move sooner. No, he'll play it out there. No, I, th- I don't think so. Because they can still get something for him. What did they pay? 88? It was like 88? It, it might have been 100. It might have been like 100, yeah. But it, it's it's not the case anymore. Like You could buy Ronaldo for $40 million right now. But the thing is, it doesn't matter who can afford him and who wants him. He's going to go where he wants. Right. He has that power. He has that power. Yeah, and yeah. like maybe he'll go to Bayern. I don't know. I don't think he's he's not the kind of player that's going to retire yet. Ronaldo is a machine. He is a freak of an athlete. He's so insanely in shape. He's I feel like you think he goes back to Man United? That's a possibility. I, I think, think he it could, is. but I, I also think like part of him wants to run the show in another country. I can't picture him at Bayern. No. Like that's the only last challenge he has is Germany. He could come to the U.S. and run it, but I don't think he's too good for the U.S. Oh well, yeah, well, he dude, he just led scoring in Italy. He was yeah. the, he won the Golden Boot over there, didn't he? In Italy? Yeah, yeah, I think he did. I, dude, I'm pretty I don't sure know. he did. I, Let I don't us know. I don't, I don't follow him too much, but guys, I appreciate everyone being here. We love all y'all. All right. Go ahead, get ready to watch the England Croatia match. I know we'll be watching it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we got a lot of people coming back every week. So, yeah, every it's, except for today, 8 a.m., every Sunday, 9 a.m., we'll be here chatting about the Reds. Steve, you got any closing thoughts? Yeah, I'm going to put the link to the Instagram right here in the chat so you guys can all go jump on that. Give me a second. You've got a um, few followers since then. Think two. Good. Yeah. We just crossed the 400 mark, which is nice. So thank you. Hey, nice, nice. Yeah, we were hovering in 300 for a while. So yeah. And um, I'll also send. I'll post the link in our community section as well. Yeah, so. I just put it in here. Where I'm not seeing it though. You just put it in here. Yeah, I just put it in the chat. Oh, I think I blocked links from uh, being uh, posted <laughs> by everyone. But st- hey, hey. We had people. We had people coming in like subscribe to the my channel, and they would post mm-hmm. the link. It's like you know, I had to block that. So, mm-hmm. but guys, don't worry. I will post it. I'll put a link in the um once the stream ends at the top of the comments. I'll pin the link, and then again, I'll put it in the community section. So, thanks for tuning in, Reds. Enjoy the match, and until next week, take care.